Hey guys, CT Salt here again, and we're working on the IK setup. So what I'm gonna, I'm just gonna continue on. Um, I'm selecting the heel here, and what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to parent these in a certain order, and this is why it's the reverse because I'm gonna start with the heel, and then we're gonna go to the toe. So middle mouse drag the the toe under the heel, and you'll notice this little arrow uh, here. Let me hide the bones real fast so you can see. There we go. And you can see it parent over there. Then I'm going to select the ball, middle mouse drag under the toe, just like so. So I get a little staircase. And then lastly, the ankle goes under there. And I'm going to make sure I get rid of that one. So I have the heel parented, well, technically it's the ankle parented to the ball. To that is parented to the toe, that is parented to the heel. So it's just kind of like this reverse chain. This one, this one, this one, and then this one. So in that order. Uh, you, so just one more time to make sure you understand that it's heel, and then the stair will be a toe, and then the ball, and then the ankle. That's pretty important. Now I want you to notice that now when I select the heel where my, uh, where my manipulator is, so if I rotate, you can clearly see that it's rotating along that point there, and that's exactly what we want. And that's why we do it in reverse. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a controller. I'm just going to the curves, and I'm just going to quickly whip one up real fast. This is going to be for the IK, and it's kind of ghetto, but whatever. Um, so now I'm going to call it IK underscore uh, controller with a capital C. There we go. And so now I'm just going to, I'm going to position this a little bit better so I can use it. All right, now I'm going to move the manipulator tool. Uh, basically, I just select the controller, press insert, hold down the V key, and snap it to the heel. That was V, hold down the V key. All right, so now the manipulator should be on the heel thing there. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to middle mouse drag the heel under the IK controller, just like this. So now when I select my controller, I rotate everything around that point. That's good. Now, this part is very important. Um, basically, I have this hip, ball, and toe handle, so I need to place these under the rig, uh, which I actually should have named these. Uh, I'm naming all of these toe and then the, the word rig after it. I completely forgot about that. That tells me that, it's, that they're not bones, they're actually, well they are bones, but they're not the bones that are actually going to be attached to the bind bones. It's strictly for the IK, so therefore it is a rig, not an actual bone that's going to be on some mesh. So this is this is a tool for me, basically. All right, so now I'm, I have to do it just like this. I have to uh, place the ball handle under the ball rig. And then uh, uh, the hip is actually supposed to be ankle. And the toe will be under the heel. So that's the toe under heel, ball under ball, and hip under ankle. And I actually meant to call this ankle instead of hip. That's why I kind of got confused myself, but uh, that was actually for the ankle handle and not the hip. So um, my apologies. Um, so now when I, let me show my bones here. And I'm going to select my controller, and I'm just going to move it. And you'll notice the foot is uh, always trying to go to the exact spot in which our rig is placed. And this is what we want. This is what creates the IK. So now, what we have here is uh, we have a nice IK setup and we can actually manipulate our rig to create the bones. So I know it's really hard to see because there's uh, a purple set of bones and then a green set of bones being selected. But basically, um, all the bones are in the exact same spot and they're always trying to go to the exact same spot depending on where I pull it. 
That's why the pivotal point of the handles have to be in the exact position in which the bones are so that they will always go there. If you mess this order up, it can mess up the IK calculations, and we don't want that. Okay, so now that that's done, I can start adding in little details. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this heel rig, and I'm just going to group it twice. So that's Control G. All right, so now I've grouped it. Now these are just null groups. Now I don't really remember which one I call it, but I think this one's the ball group, and this one is the toe group. All right, now I'm going to select the group for the ball and I'm going to move the manipulator tool so that's insert hold down the V and snap it to this point right here All right so now I'm going to you know insert press insert again and this time I'm going to rotate along this point point. and if you notice the entire foot control will move side to side and that's what I want so for the controller modify I select the controller I go to modify and add attribute and I'm going to type uh, ball side and I'm going to it's going to be a float I can have any value I don't really care so I'm just going to add that I'm going to close that so now I have this uh, attribute on the controller I'm going to select this ball group again and I'm going to do rotate and see which number it changes so that's the rotate Y so I'll set that back at zero I'm going to select the rotate go to edit and then expressions here and I'm going to select this attribute here, which is ball group dot rotate y. I'm going to copy that and paste it here. Press uh, type equals. Let me make this bigger. If I remember the command. Okay. There we go. And let me copy this. I got to find the name of this attribute. This is called ik control dot ball side. So select the ball group, rotate Y, edit expressions, paste that, and it's IK control group dot rotate Y. No, no, it was not. It was ball side, yeah. Okay. It's kind of hard to memorize this and stuff. Uh, IK control group. Oh, it's IK control. You gotta remember these attributes and the names and what do you call it? Where's my expression editor? Okay. Ball side. I'll just copy this and make. Let me double check this. This attribute. IK underscore. Oh yeah, it's underscore. Tell you sometimes I name so many things I forget the name of them so I'm just gonna add an underscore so you can kind of see what it looks like ball group dot rotate y create all right so I now have a purple thing right there now when I click on my control and I um, add a number to it you can see that it is rotating and these are how I add attributes. Now I can add, I can add a few attributes, and this is always good to do. But uh, you can have it rotate, like right here, on the toe, where it like rotates up and down. Let me move this group here, and I'll kind of show you. I'm not going to do it, but uh, see this this would be like the nail attribute. But anyway, um, I'm out of time, so I'll see you in the next video.